Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm so excited because we're doing another shop with me for Christmas. Like I said, I'm still enjoying fall, but I have been doing a lot of shopping and planning for Christmas. And in today's video, I went to Home Goods and then I also went to Walmart. I had already been to Home Goods a couple different times, but I had not been to Walmart yet. So I was excited to go there and see what they had. And I was primarily looking for things for my hot cocoa bar. I am gonna be doing a Santa theme in my hot cocoa bar this year. So that's the type of stuff I was looking for. And I have to say, I was not sure what I was gonna find, but I'm really pleased with what I ended up getting. During the Shop With Me's, I'm gonna be showing you a variety of things that they had in the stores, but primarily what I was shopping for on these days were for my hot cocoa bar. So when we're done, I'm gonna show you the haul of everything I got from Home Goods and Walmart that has to do with my hot cocoa bar. I did buy a few other things this particular day at Home Goods and on other trips to Home Goods, but I'm not gonna show you those items. I'll save those for a different haul, but primarily today it's gonna be my hot cocoa bar haul, and I'm gonna show you the theme that I'm doing and kind of some ideas that I have for what's going on. I don't know exactly how it'll turn out, but you'll get a good idea of what I'm gonna be doing in that hot cocoa bar this year. So if you're interested in seeing all of this, just stay tuned. Home Goods is such a fun place to go for holiday decor because they get such a variety of items. And if you're into entertaining or you like setting the table like I do, then Home Goods is definitely going to have you covered. They have such fun glassware. I loved all of the different types of Christmas glasses. Some of them were even hand painted and I thought they were so unique and so pretty. So it's not the same thing that you'll see on everybody's table, which is one of the things that I like about it. I spent so much time with the holiday dishware and mugs and different canisters. That's one of the things I was looking for were some canisters to do my hot cocoa bar and then other little things for the hot cocoa bar. And I saw so many beautiful items as I was looking. One of the things I liked were all of the spoon rest that they had that I thought were so cute and very affordable. also had the cutest little Santa mugs with hats and then also these little fa la la and ho 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 mugs that have the candy cane spoons were also super cute. And I was thinking these would be a fun addition to the hot cocoa bar this year. The design on this giving plate was just beautiful and I love the sentiment behind it that you fill up the plate and you pass it along to somebody and then it's their job to fill it up and keep passing it on. I love the idea that if you keep doing this over the years that it would have such a history of going to all these different people. I just thought this was a really cool thing to get started in your family or with neighbors or friends or just something to spread a little cheer during the holidays. These Christmas tree canisters definitely caught my eye. At first, I wasn't sure what they were and I realized that they were cookie jars, but I think you could use them for any type of canister that you need. And I'm thinking hot cocoa bar for this one. And then I also loved these mug sets. They had two different types to slay all day. And then they also had one with the gnomes. And I thought these were super cute for yourself or for a gift. I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by. 
I share a laugh, it gives me joy that everyone's having a good, good time. Another cool thing about Home Goods is that they're constantly putting things out. So if you go back on two different occasions, then you're going to see some totally different things. And I've been twice already and I plan to go back again just because you're going to find new treasures every time you go. So say if you're looking for something for your hot cocoa bar and you don't find it on one trip, go back in a couple of days because you might find it then. They also had some pretty signs that I thought could go with a lot of different styles of decor. My winter wonderland is the time of year. My winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this These ornaments were beautiful and I thought some of them were really unique. baking section had a lot of cute things. There were some little sets that I thought were super cute. And then they also had um, a few different things that I thought would make nice additions to a hot cocoa bar or something like that. Or if you have kids or grandkids that you're going to be baking with, I just thought a lot of this stuff would be really fun. They also had a nice selection of garlands and some of them were really pretty. In fact, I wanted to pick up one or two of them. I resisted. Um, the one that I wanted, there was another lady that was buying some and I helped her find the ones that she needed, but they were really, really pretty. Home Goods is also a great place to get holiday napkins. They had so many different styles and sizes. So pretty much whatever your style, they would have something that would work. So whether you just want some for the family or you're entertaining, definitely check them out for this. I was surprised at the beautiful selection of stockings and tree skirts this year at Home Goods. But if you're looking for stockings or tree skirts, definitely go there. And if you need matching stockings or matching tree skirts, dig until you find it. I know I had to do that when I was looking for mine and I was able to find matches. So just kind of dig around and hopefully you'll be able to find what you're looking for. Talking on the phone, I make you feel at home. Oh, when I got you by my side, what a night! Oh, girl, I won't let you go. When the sky comes alive, it's a jolly holiday. I was really impressed with the selection of Santas and angels that they had this year. Some of these Santas I thought were so beautiful. I really wanted to pick up one of these ones with all the green. Since I'm doing so much green this year, I did resist the urge to get that, but I was definitely thinking about it. And then this angel on the end with the peace sign was so gorgeous. I wanted to bring her home as well, but 
I did not. I resisted on those things, but I thought they were so beautiful. You might think the weather's kind of cold, but you know you've got a hand to hold. Come along out and play. What a wonderful So hard to resist those red lips I'm at Walmart and I'm excited to go in and see what they have for Christmas. I'm not sure if I'm looking for anything here, but maybe some picks. I still might need a couple of gold picks, so I'm excited to see what they have here. Um, if I could find something here instead of having to go back to Hobby Lobby, that would be great. And other than that, I'm not sure. So let's go in and see what we can find. When I walked into Walmart, I saw completely empty shelves and I wasn't sure what to make of it. This was right when I walked in. So I wasn't at the Christmas section yet. So I wasn't sure if I was going to find anything or not. So let's go and see what I was able to find in Walmart because it turned out that I was actually pretty excited with what I found there. Although things were definitely picked over a lot, as you will see. I really liked these little figurines of the snowman and then a couple of them had Santa Claus. So I thought these were very cute and would be great for tiered trays or some type of kitchen vignette that you might be doing. Um, and I think these would actually make cute little gifts as well if you were doing some type of um, gift basket for somebody. This section had some things that would make cute gifts, especially if you're doing a little gift basket. I liked these little oven mitts and you could fill these with maybe some wooden spoons and a dish towel, a couple things and make that be your gift basket. And then they also had some socks. Walmart will always have cute socks and things like that. And then the dog bones. Of course, I got caught up on the dog bones and I had to see if I could find one for Lacey and I was playing around with them to see if they actually had a squeaker, and they did. I'm a big fan of these ornament sets for under $5. I don't think you can beat it, and I love the different textures and shapes that they have within one container. Okay, this has nothing to do with Christmas, but how cute are these little Basset Hound cookie jars? The Pioneer Lady has Basset Hounds, and I saw these and thought they were so cute. They're totally not my style, but I just love them. I think I could see me dressing up Lacey in some little boots like that with the little cowboy hat. It should be so cute. So anyway, I just had to show you that. And then I was looking down this next aisle, and things are pretty picked over, it's looking like, so far. But I did like these candles. I don't burn candles like this, but I do like to have things like this just to set in vignettes. This green one really caught my eye, but I think any of these would be very pretty on a tray on your coffee table or maybe a kitchen counter or your island. I think these would be very pretty. These mini loaf pans were calling my name. They are so cute. I love the different styles. And for under $4, you cannot beat this. I think these would be great to make little gift baskets with, or you can actually bake in them and then give your mini loaf along with the dish as a gift. So, so many options of things you can do with this. And I have some things in mind for what I'm gonna do. So I definitely picked up a couple of these. This aisle was a little picked over, but they did have some beautiful tree skirts and ribbon that I thought were just gorgeous. And then they had all these different spools of ribbon that I really liked. And these ornaments were so pretty. And if you're doing a Woodlands theme, these would definitely work, but I think they would also be pretty in a traditional theme, depending on what your total color scheme is. So lots of options with these. I was really surprised at how pretty these ribbon sets were. And then these ornaments, I just love with the Peace, Joy, and Noel. And again, I think these would work with so many different styles of decor. And then they just had your typical little ornaments and some pretty glass trees, although they were almost sold out of those. 
And these ornaments I thought were really pretty and they're very reminiscent of some that Hobby Lobby has. The main difference is the ones at Hobby Lobby are a little bit bigger. I'm not positive about the colors, but they're pretty close to Hobby Lobby. And for under $5, I thought this was a really good deal. And I started picking through these. <laughs> I ended up having to pull the whole box off of the shelf because it was way up high and you had to get into it. I can't reach that from up there. I'm pretty short. So I pulled it down and put it on top of my cart so I could go through. I love all of the different Christmas trees. These were so cute, the little fabric Christmas trees. But then I found these little mittens and they also had stockings and they had a couple different types of material and I thought these were so cute. I think these would be beautiful to use at a place setting. You could attach name cards with everybody's name. You could also fill it with maybe peppermints or some other little treats. You could put some greenery in here. So I think there's a lot of things you could do to dress these up and make them beautiful for a table. You could do this with the stocking or the mittens and I think it would be really pretty and a beautiful addition to any table another idea for how I'm going to use these and I'm so excited to show you what that is. And then they also had these little signs which were very nostalgic and I just love these for a dollar. I thought these would be perfect for tear trays or a hot cocoa bar. Even for Christmas trees if you're doing a vintage tree you could use these as larger ornaments and I think they would really make a statement. So impressed with all of Walmart's ornaments. They had some really cute choices for $1.98. You can't beat it. And the best thing about these is not only are they ornaments, but they're the perfect size to use in your tear trays or any little vignettes that you're making. They would also be pretty when you're gift wrapping to use as ornaments on your gift wrap and make an extra little gift for whoever you're giving the item to. So I just thought these were so pretty and so many good choices. One of my favorites was this top hat. I thought it was so cute. They also had some nice sets. I like these antlers. And I also like these picks. I was thinking of several ways I could use these. I would probably take the Christmas trees off and just use the greenery and the berries. But the fun thing about these is you can take them apart and use these in different ways. And then whenever I see something like this one, I don't even worry about the ribbon it has because I can always change that. And again, these are pretty to take apart and just use the greenery however you need it. I love these little ornament sets. The different sizes and textures are very pretty. And I think if you mix it with something like these jingle bells, as long as the colors all work together for your color scheme, I think put in a bowl or maybe in a hurricane with a candle, these would be really pretty. Christmas is almost here. Let's toast to a very good kind of date I'm all yours and I can hardly wait come along start the show having fun in the snow your white smile is brighten up my date your blonde hair out of like to look at the name tags too because they often have cute ones that could be used in a variety of different ways. You don't have to use them as name tags. A lot of these would be very cute if you were attaching it to a wreath or again using it to decorate something in your tier tray. You could also use a lot of these on a tablescape where maybe you attach it to a napkin ring and just add it as a little adornment. So I just Love looking for things like this that are just little extras that aren't very expensive at all to add to different applications. And even the card holders you can use in a lot of the same ways. Even if you just set some of these in your tiered trays, it's a very inexpensive thing you can do that has a lot of impact. These little gift boxes are great for what they're meant for, but also for little projects. So you could easily cut this off and put it in a frame. And I think this would be so cute as a little framed piece. 
have lots of different styles. These wooden signs are just beautiful. This is not something I would normally go for, but I absolutely love these. Some of them are so pretty. They have a wide variety and you can make a whole little village with these. I also like these little smaller ones, the little cars. They would be so cute to put in a tiered tray or some type of vignette that you're doing like that. And then they also had the little dog bones. So, you know, I love those. And then they had these little pieces with the song lyrics, and I thought they were just beautiful. And those would look great, I think, if you took that and put it together with one of the other bigger signs. You could make an entire little village out of these, and I think it would be so pretty if you did this on a mantle, maybe with some greenery and some candles, or instead of the greenery, you could do snow and either on a mantle or a console, this would look so beautiful. are so cute and if you do a lot of little vignettes these would be perfect they had two different styles and for $7.98 that's really a great deal okay guys I pulled out all my stuff and now I'm gonna show you the haul this is most of what I bought um, on these days for my hot cocoa bar there's gonna be a few things in here that are not for the hot cocoa bar and I also bought a few things this or these days that I am not showing you right now. I'm going to save those for a different haul. Most of this stuff I'm planning to incorporate somehow into my hot cocoa bar and some of it's just here in case I need it. Um, and if I don't use it in my hot cocoa bar, there's probably other ways maybe in the kitchen that I'll be able to use it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I got. First, I wanted to show you my Santa. So this was a thrift haul from a year or so ago. I know I used this for Christmas last year, um, but the reason I'm showing him to you is because he's the inspiration for my hot cocoa bar. I'm going to be doing a Santa themed hot cocoa bar this year, and he will be in my hot cocoa bar. So the other thing are themes that I have going on in my Christmas decor are Christmas trees. I'm going to be doing a lot of Christmas trees and I'm also going to be using a lot of green throughout my decor. So you will notice as I'm showing you things, there's going to be a lot of red and white, but also there's going to be greens and golds that I'm pulling throughout. So that's one thing I liked about my Santa is how he has the greenery and he also has some gold. So it's going to be tying in all of my colors. In this first bit, I'm going to show you the items that I bought at Home Goods for my hot cocoa bar. I did buy other items at Home Goods, but not for the hot cocoa bar. So I'm going to save those for another video. But I'm re-showing you this because I had accidentally deleted this clip. So I'm refilming it with these few items that I had deleted when I showed. So the first thing is this Christmas tree. I absolutely love this. It is a cookie jar, but I'm going to use it more like a canister. So I'm going to put like maybe my hot cocoa in here or my collagen peptides, but I'll definitely be using it more of a canister. I picked up two of these. I really like the retro look of this, and it's also going to just blend in with all of my other Christmas trees that I'm going to be doing throughout the house. And then I bought this Santa's for Santa with the little Santa's belt. 
um, cake stand. I thought that was so cute. And my thought is I'm gonna go ahead and put one of my Christmas trees on it. And I'll probably put it in one of, on one of the sides of my tear tray. And since I bought two of them, I'll have one of the trees on the stand and then I'll have the other one just sitting next to it to vary the heights. I thought these were so cute. When I saw them, I just had to pick them up. So these are for tea light candles. And this one is Frosty's, it says skate something. I can't read it right now, but anyways, oh, skate rentals. And so this is just a Frosty the Snowman and I love the green colors. So I just thought it would be perfect to pick up all the greens that I'm gonna be doing this year. And this one is the little reindeer house. So it says, Common and Vixen's Cozy Hotel, and it's so cute. And again, it has all of the green colors that I'm gonna be using. And you can see these are for tea light candles as well. I'm thinking that these will make a cute little vignette with the Santa, and I will probably put some other little things around and almost make it like Santa's little village is kind of my thought for this. But again, once I get going on actually putting it together, then I'll see how I want it all to come together. But this is what I have in mind for now. I had to pick up the Slay All Day mug. It's a travel mug. I love the ones that are on the go, but I thought this was just super cute. I love the headband. You will probably see me wearing that one day just because it's so much fun. And then I also picked up these little uh, melamine plates. I think these are so cute. There's a set of six and it was $10. And my thought with these is I'm probably going to use these in the bathroom as soap dish. So I'll probably be using it in the kitchen as well, where I can just set it at the sink with my soap dish on it. And I think it'll be really cute. And I don't know what else I'll put, but maybe some greenery or a little something. And I think that will look great. Since I'm doing the Santa theme, I had to pick up these mugs. They were just too cute. I got two of each. So there's two of the Santas with the lids, which I just think are adorable and are going to be perfect for my theme. And these will go on my tiered tray. And then this one was so cute. So I ended up getting two of these. I think the other one, if I'm remembering correctly, is Santa and it says ho, ho, ho. But they both came with the candy cane spoons, which were so cute. The only thing about these is they only face this one direction, which is not my favorite thing. I wish there was something on the back so you could do it either way. But anyway, we'll make it work. So those are all gonna go on my tiered tray. And the last thing that I picked up at Home Goods related to my hot cocoa bar were these napkins. So I love the ones that said Merry and Bright with the Christmas trees. And then this Santa was my favorite. He's just so nostalgic. I love the old timey feel of this. So I want my hot cocoa bar to be a lot of fun, but yet still pretty. And I think these napkins are definitely gonna fit that bill. Now for the Walmart haul, I ended up picking up a lot of the little ornaments and different things like that as you can see, and I'm gonna go through and just kind of give you a quick idea of how I'm thinking of using a lot of these things. So first of all, I could not resist these wooden signs. I picked up the Joy to the World and then the Oh Holy Night, and I'm somehow gonna put these together in a vignette. And the other thing kind of in line with this is this Oh Holy Night. Uh, music lyrics, the scroll. So I'm definitely going to be changing out the rope because I'll probably put some type of ribbon to make it match my theme because I'm going to have more elegant um, looking things on the table. But my thought is I will put it on this wall back here above the light switch. So it'll be next to this picture. I think it'll blend in well. And even though it's kind of brown, it's hard to tell if it's brown or green. And it definitely has some green and gold in it which is gonna work with what I have planned for my tablescape. So I'm excited to show you what I'm doing for my Christmas tablescape. Guys, it's gonna be so pretty. I'll give you a hint. It's gonna have a ton of Christmas trees on it and it is gonna be so pretty. All right, back to the hot cocoa bar now. So all of these things I'm thinking in some way I'll be able to use in the hot cocoa bar. So first of all, 
I picked up these little stockings. These are the ones I showed you in the haul. These were a dollar a piece and I thought they were super cute. So I also picked up these picks and I'm thinking that I'm gonna end up putting it together like this. So I took these bells and I simply took one off and I took it apart and just put the greenery up here. I might move the bell down here. I'm not sure yet, but my thought for these in my hot cocoa bar is that I'm gonna put them on the wall here. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna end up putting, I'm not sure how many will fit because it's kind of tall. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm gonna end up putting probably three of these on this side and then also three on this side. I'll let you see my area so you can get a reminder of what it looks like. So this is what I'm gonna be decorating as my hot cocoa bar. So I'm thinking I'll set the Santa with the little reindeer um, and the other little house in one of the corners. And I'm thinking I'm gonna move my tray over to the center for this one and then maybe have my Christmas tree canisters on the other side. I'm gonna have to play with all that and see but I'm definitely going to be using these on the wall. I think they are so cute and they're going to tie in, but I needed to add the greenery and the gold to help tie into all of my colors. So my other thought with this or with the stocking, the other thing I'm going to do is stuff it. So I put a little bit of stuffing in it so you can see, but I'm going to go ahead and stuff it so it'll look full when it's hanging on the wall. And then I ended up getting this Santa North Pole sign. And this was one of the little $2 Christmas ornaments. So my thought was I liked all the greenery on it. I may end up changing out the little ribbon and I'll certainly cut the rope off of it. But I think I'm gonna attach it to this. I thought this was so cute. I had to get this with my Santa theme. My thought with this is I'll have it attached. And then I'm thinking that I'm gonna end up putting it on the cabinet door. I'm gonna to try to hold the camera so you can see, but it's a little bit hard. But I'm thinking I'll put it on the cabinet door, something like this. And then I need something for the other cabinet door. So I have a couple different options and I'm gonna to have to get it kind of up there and see or get Whitney to hold it for me or something so I can see but I also got the Marian Bright. So this is one option is I could put this on the other door next to it and have them both on the cabinet door. So that's one of my options. And to this, I will definitely be adding some greenery to help um, just give it a little something. It looks a little plain and not as dressed up as I would like it to be. So I might use that. But another option of what I was thinking, I bought these little card holders. So I have these three and I'm thinking that I could somehow position these on the other door next to it or maybe even these boxes. So I'm not sure exactly what I will put, but it'll be something like this, either the sign or that. And my other thought is if I don't use this sign on the cabinet door, then I can probably use it right here on my pantry door, which is across. And so I think that would look really good. So I'm kind of thinking it's either going to go here or here. If you have any thoughts, let me know. And I do have one other option for what I could put opposite of this on the other door. I have these three of the little nostalgic signs. They were a dollar a piece. I might could do something to adorn them a little bit more, but they're kind of in the same style, I think, as the sign. So they might look good. So I'm not, like I said, I'm going to have to play with that and see. Another thing I bought that I thought were so cute are these little Christmas trees. These remind me of things that my mom used to make when I was a kid. She would do all kinds of crafts for Christmas and she was always room mother for our rooms and she would make stuff like this for us. So I can remember sitting at the kitchen table at night for weeks before Christmas making different little things like this that she was gonna give little baskets to 
all the kids to take home with them. So this just reminded me of that. And I thought I, I would definitely be able to incorporate these in some way in my hot cocoa bar. I'm not sure yet, but somehow I love this little merry and bright. So I picked up a couple of those, a lot of the ornaments that I thought would work in the tiered tray somehow. So this little letters to Santa, of course, goes with my theme. So I'm going to have to find some way to incorporate this. And then I loved these little peppermint wreaths. I was thinking I can add ribbon to them and maybe just lay them around somewhere. Or another thought that I had was I could use them for a stand where maybe I could put a votive candle or something on it. But I also picked up the top hat and I'm thinking I could use it for like a stand for the top hat. I just think that's really cute. So I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with these, but it's a hot cocoa bar. So of course I've got to have peppermint. And then I loved this little snowman. Is he not the cutest? And so my thought with things like this was that, like I said, I want to make my little village. So I'm thinking I can kind of set things like this up and just make the whole little scene with those things. And this little sleigh I thought was really pretty also. I love the presents that it has. So I picked up a couple of these. This was my thought with these things is I'll be able to set up a little vignette maybe in the corner of my hot cocoa bar with things like this. And I think it'll be so cute. I'll have to figure it all out how I really want to set everything out. But that's kind of my thoughts. Or I may end up putting them on my tier tray. So we'll just have to see how it all comes together. But I think it'll look good too with something like this with the Santa, with making like a little Santa village and then the trees on the other side for my canisters. So I think that's going to end up looking really good. And of course, I had to get the train because you can't have a Santa's North Pole without the train. So that was cute. And then... I got a few of these peppermint trees because I think I could just set those around on my tiered tray or other places and they're going to look great. And then also I thought this was really cute. I got several of these because I'm thinking I could make maybe a garland or I can maybe just kind of put them on the side walls. So I was thinking maybe um, attach them like on the wall like this. So I'm not really sure how I will use them or maybe like I said, a garland in the back here. I'm not positive yet on these, but I just thought they were really cute. And again, I may end up adding something to adorn these. We'll have to see how it all comes together. I know I keep saying that, but I like this as well. So I'm not sure if I will end up using this in the hot cocoa bar or not, but I just thought it was cute. And then I did pick up the different types of greenery. So I got several of these picks, several of these, and then several of these. And with these picks, I will probably take some of them apart. I may end up using them how they are, but I might also cut them apart and just use the little sticks of greenery in different applications however I want. I thought these reindeers were so cute. So I picked up these because... I like that it had the gold and the green, so I can maybe add these as adornments to something. Like, I'm not sure if it goes on the candy cane wreath, but you get the idea. The same with the bells. So I've already showed you one way I'm thinking of using the bells, but I picked up several of these. They also had one pack of these little candy canes, and then they were sold out. So I think I got the last one. But my thought with these is the same thing. I can just lay them around somehow. And I thought that would be cute. I also picked up some of these trees. These are really cute and these are breakable. I'm not sure how I'll use these, but I thought they were really pretty. And then of course I had to get a couple sets of these ornaments. I'm probably not gonna use those in the hot cocoa bar, but they were just too pretty for me not to pick them up. I love them. I also got a set of these name tags because I thought they were really pretty and worked with my theme. And I also liked that on the back, they're just plain. They don't say to or from. So you can write whatever you want to on the back of them. So I was thinking these might be really cute. If I have little jars, I could maybe attach 
some of these to the little jars and then on the back of it, write whatever is the name of what's in the jar. But I just thought these might be cute to add to maybe if I have a jar of marshmallows or whatever in my bar. So then I also picked up a couple of these. I thought they were so pretty. And I was just playing around. So this was one of the ornaments I got. I put in a couple of the picks of greenery and then I ended up putting one of the little fabric trees and this little um, gift card holder I thought was so cute saying special delivery from the North Pole. My thought with this is that I could maybe put it on the top of my tiered tray and I thought it would be really cute. So like I said, I'm not sure if I'll keep it like this or I'll definitely attach everything better. But I think if I were to set it on the top tier of my tiered tray, that would be really pretty as just some decoration. Or my other thought was if I wanna end up bringing some of this into my kitchen, I could maybe, let's see, it fails. Cause it's, I'll probably put some styrofoam in here and then figure out how I wanna fix it. But I could maybe put it here. I also have some spatulas that are Christmas themed and colored with the red and green. So I could do something like that and just bring it into the kitchen also. So I just think these are really cute. I love that you could give them as gifts. So I'm excited about this and we'll have to see what I end up doing. I got one set of these little mini ornaments because I'm thinking I can use them maybe just to lay around in my little vignettes, maybe with my little Christmas Santa scene or on my tiered tray. Again, I'm not sure how I use them, but I like that the colors worked with the reds, green, and golds that I'm going to be using. So I thought I would go ahead and pick that up because I'm sure I'll find a use. Of course, I had to get Lacey the bone. I thought this one was so cute, Na naughty and nice, and she is definitely both of those. And then, y'all, I had to get these. These are so cute. Look at these little elf shoes. So I got these. You'll probably see me wearing these in one of my videos, too. I just had to pick those up because they were just too cute not to. I had so much fun with this shop with me and haul. I can't wait to start decorating my hot cocoa bar. I hope this might have given you some ideas, whether you're doing a whole hot cocoa bar or whether maybe you're just doing a tray or you want a little bit of decor for your kitchen. Um, I think this theme would be great for any kitchen with, you know, the peppermint is always a good kitchen type theme. And I'm going to be bringing in lots of trees and lots of greens into my decor. And y'all know me, I love an elegant look for my decor. And I know what I just showed you with all of this was just really a lot of fun for my hot cocoa bar. If you saw last year's, you know that I just wanted that part to be fun, but I have some really elegant things planned for the rest of my decor. And I cannot wait to show you what we're gonna be doing. In fact, we're gonna be starting to decorate soon but I am going to be doing a Thanksgiving tablescape for you. I'm going to finish up my tablescape for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to be mixing the Christmas and fall decor here on out. But we will be starting Christmas decorating soon. So thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to subscribe if you're not already. Turn on your bell notifications. If you like this video and are excited about seeing what we're doing for Christmas, give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.